Hey, friend Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, it's the Hop Slammiest. Hop Slam is a 10% double IPA from Bell's Brewery in Comstock, Michigan. First and foremost, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in seeing beer reviews on Tuesdays and Thursdays, consider subscribing to the channel for more beery videos. Now, with that being said, this is my third year reviewing Hop Slam. 2018 was my first year after a really long absence of having it. I'd say it was probably at least 10 years or so. And in 2019, uh, which was last year, I compared 2018s to 2019, but I ended up drinking all of my 2019 Hop Slams. So there won't be a year over year comparison this time around. Bell's has a couple really highly anticipated releases every year. And I'd say Hop Slam is probably the most widely sought after around the country. I know Oberon has its fans, but Hop Slam is the big double IPA that Bell's fans look for everywhere. And it's been a lot easier to find in recent years. They've produced quite a bit more. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, Hop Slam was first brewed in 2004. Were you there for it? I think my earliest was uh, maybe 2009. Oh, and before I forget, I paid $15.99 for a six pack. I've seen it, I think as low as $14.99 online somewhere. No place I've seen it in stores. And I've seen it as high as $16.99. So you should expect to pay that or about $2.50 to $3 a can. So let's go ahead and take a look at the label like I said before. Um, this is just the regular Hop Slam uh, beer label. It's been like this for the last few years. They Since they put it in the can, they haven't had to put the date on the outside, like on the bottle. They usually have it on the outside. But this is the green can. It's this kind of um, slightly more green than olive green. And it says Bell's at the top, Hop Slam Ale. It has the guy, you know, crushed under the three hop cones. It says on the bottom, Double India Pale Ale Brewed with Honey. An exceptionally aromatic blend of hops combined in this balanced interpretation of the double IPA style. Best enjoyed as fresh as possible. And then it has on the side, it has the Independent Craft Beer logo, if that's something you're interested in. And it has the alcohol, which is 10%, which I said earlier, 10% by volume. Shelf life, three months. Um, and like I said, I, I've aged this over time. I actually enjoy it being aged. I mean, it, it has its merits being fresh, but I do enjoy it being aged at the same time. And then on the bottom is the package date. It was packaged on January 2nd, 2020, which is uh, just about a week. We could go, it takes about a week for it to hit the market, hit the shelves in the general store, Bell's general store. You can pretty much find it like the third, I think. It comes out really soon. So I'm going to use my, my Bell's glass here. I'm going to go ahead and crack it and put a nose out of the can, which is something that I like to do. And uh, let's put a nose on it. Getting a lot of that hoppy, aromatic uh, smell coming out of it. Has a bit of a sweetness to it, just like it usually has. I know that every year it kind of changes slightly. Uh, but I'm getting a lot of a kind of citrus uh, and pininess out of there. A little bit of a sweet kind of smell, which I'm going to attribute to the honey. So let's go ahead and pour this. I'm going to turn the logo so you can see the actual pour here. And it's coming out really golden yellow out of the can. The head is kind of a little bit of a golden white. It's it's white, but it's borderline kind of almost a golden. And you can see from the overhead, that's just got a really nice, uh, a really nice head on it. It's about uh, two to maybe two and a half fingers of head. Um, the head is really nice, kind of large bubbles on the cross section on the top. You can see there's really large bubbles on it kind of bursting up and they're 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 tight but they're large. There's a lot of large kind of it's got a really airy head. So let's go ahead and hold this up to the light. That is as usual, uh it's a little bit a little bit hazy, but it's not what you'd consider a hazy IPA or like a New England that it's not that hazy, but it's got a little bit of a haze to it, a lot of nice carbonation rising up to the top. And I can see my fingers through it. Not a whole lot of detail, a little bit more of a just kind of the silhouette through there. But again it's it's not super clear, it's not super unfiltered, but no, by no means what I call it uh, hazy. It's just got a little bit of kind of particulate floating in there. So let's put a better nose on the glass. And yeah, I'm getting a lot of that. A lot of us like kind of almost malty characteristic in there. It's maybe enhanced a little bit, the sweetness by the honey. It's like a malt sweetness kind of aroma. And again, I think that's kind of enhanced by the honey that's in there. It's very citrusy. It has a really uh, bright citrusy kind of aroma. 
then I don't really have any kind of, I'm not really picking up on any, on any kind of resinous aroma or any kind of piney aroma. So let's go ahead and take a drink. Cheers. It's very sweet. Um, again, that honey kind of adds to that. So the mouth feels a little bit on the higher end, a little bit on the, the heavier end. It's not thick. It's kind of on the high to high medium kind of side. There's almost this kind of um, perfumey kind of taste in there. And I think what it is is the high ABV mixing in there. So I'm getting this kind of uh, citrusy aroma, citrusy kind of flavor in there. I feel like the ABV is a little bit more pronounced this year. It, you can almost taste a little bit more of the booziness than I think previous years it was a little bit more um, kind of buried in there a little bit. There's a citrus bitterness in there and a piney bitterness as well on the finish. And the honey kind of sits in there. The sweetness that you get is from the honey and it also has a little bit of this kind of caramel characteristic as well. But it, it tastes really uh this year i'm thinking 2020 i always think in my head they're going to taste really similar to each other but i feel like this year 2020s has a little bit more of that kind of boozy characteristic in there yeah and that honey sweetness is in there it also has almost this um kind of bitter orange um sweetness in there too i know bitter and and sweet aren't really the same thing but if you Sometimes if you bite into like a dry kind of a, a orange or a tangerine that's kind of dried out, you get this kind of this kind of bitterness that's in there. And that's the kind of um, citrus flavor that I'm getting. And the aftertaste that as I talk and the air kind of hits my tongue and the beer interacts with my with with the air. It has this you get a lot of the honey fl uh, flavor in there then. And you also get a lot of kind of car caramel characteristics that pull through as well. Like I said, uh, 2018, I felt like was a little bit more of the honey flavor came through. It was really kind of honey. This has a lot of honey flavor as well. A lot of sweetness that kind of, it kind of sticks on your tongue. I don't want to say cloying, but it, it, it does cloy a little bit on your tongue. Again, as I'm talking, all I'm tasting, all the aftertaste I'm getting is this really sweet honey and caramel flavor. Uh, and I think it's been a lot more pronounced than years past. And the other thing that I'm really picking up on that I... I don't remember as much in years past. It's kind of when I breathe out and I take a drink, this perfumey kind of um, aromatics come through. And I think that has to do a lot with kind of ABV, a little bit, you know, being a higher ABV IPA than maybe you're used to. 10% is pretty high. It's not through the roof, but for an IPA, it's pretty high. Um, but yeah, that kind of, that just that honey sweetness and that that caramel sweetness kind of stick with you. But, but all in all, uh, I think if you are more in that honey kind of edge for Hop Slam, this might be for you if you're expecting more of a really strong IPA or maybe a little bit more of that kind of maltiness or, you know, maybe more of that really strong hoppy bitterness, the, the piney bitter, bitterness, the orange bitterness. I didn't pick it up so much on this year, so you may be disappointed if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking for that sweetness, that honey sweetness, that little taste of caramel in your IPA, this is Hop Slam 2020 would be right up your alley. All right, friends, that has been Hop Slam, the double IPA from Bell's Brewery. Have you had this before? Have you had 2020? How do you think it compares to other years? And when was the first time you had Hop Slam? Let us know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like Michigan beer or just beer in general, Consider subscribing, like I said earlier, because I'm here twice a week making videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's all for free for viewers just like you, and you might miss your next favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.